relationships in power by can be tricky but valuable. Here's what I know. What is a many-to-many -many relationship? In a basic relationship, one row in one table is connected to one or many rows in another table. A many-to-many -many relationship breaks this rule, meaning one row in one table can be connected to multiple rows in another table, and vice versa. Think of it like a web of connections, where rows in different tables are tangled together through shared attributes. Challenges of many-to-many -many relationships Increased complexity, these relationships make data models more intricate, requiring careful planning and consideration to avoid ambiguity and performance issues. Data redundancy, multiple connections between rows can lead to duplicating data, impacting model size and potentially causing inconsistencies. Difficult visualizations, representing complex relationships visually can be challenging, requiring advanced techniques and clear communication to users. Solutions for many-to-many -many relationships in Power BI. Using bridging tables, introduce a middle table that stores the connections between two main tables. This clarifies relationships and helps avoid data redundancy. Direct relationship with cardinality set to many-to-many, -many, Power BI now allows directly connecting tables with this cardinality, simplifying model creation but requiring careful attention to filtering and performance. Calculated columns. Sometimes, you can use calculated columns to create virtual connections between tables, although this might not be suitable for all scenarios. Benefits of implementing many-to-many -many relationships. Accurate data representation. When used correctly, they accurately reflect real-world relationships between entities in your data, leading to more precise analysis. Deeper insights. By analyzing connections across multiple tables, you can uncover hidden patterns and trends that might be invisible in simpler models. Flexible analysis. These relationships allow for diverse perspectives and ad hoc exploration, empowering users to answer a wider range of questions with your data. Tips for working with many-to-many -many relationships. Plan and document your model carefully. Clearly define the connections and data flow to avoid confusion and ensure everyone understands the relationships. Optimize your data model. Minimize data redundancy and use efficient techniques to maintain optimal performance with complex relationships. Choose the right visualization tools. Select visuals that clearly represent the connections and avoid ambiguity in your reports. Train your users. Provide clear guidance on how to interpret data and filtering behavior within reports involving many-to-many -many relationships. Overall, mastering many-to-many -many relationships in Power BI can significantly enhance your data analysis capabilities. With careful planning and a thoughtful approach, you can unlock deeper insights and gain a nuanced understanding of the complex connections within your data. If you have any further questions about specific scenarios or need help implementing many-to-many -many relationships in your Power BI models, feel free to ask. I'm always happy to dive deeper and guide you through this powerful but sometimes challenging aspect of data modeling.